Ironic, ironic.
What's going on? Trying out the soundboard again. I did some tricks to get it moving, but we back in it again on Twitch. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a blessed Saturday evening. We got to keep the games rolling as always. Shout out to my boy K Dog 1149 doing a shout out there. I don't know if he has a player or not, but let me know. And I'll go ahead and get into it. Ryan Davis said, Welcome back with the soundboard. <laughs> Like that, shit like that. Shit 15 like biddies already. If I knew I had to twerk some, I'll go ahead and drop them like that. You already know what I'm saying. Shout out to the big homies in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the USFA and everybody watching. Should be a fun ride tonight. Two teams looking to get it rolling here in the Western Conference. We got Dallas at St. Louis. Dallas, they are still in the race for the number three seed currently. And you already seen who won earlier with the big home is of Tacoma getting the victory over Anchorage. So Anchorage will fall to two and five on the season. Whereas Dallas can take the lead and pretty much be in the number four seed bump Anchorage down because if they lose in regards to Dallas, they will just stay behind Anchorage since Anchorage has the tiebreaker. You know what I'm saying? And St. Louis, they're on the other side. They have yet to get a victory here. They're going to be at home. They're going to be in their uniforms. Uh, they're going to be in their uh, full alternate uniform. So we'll see that red for the first time tonight here for St. Louis going to be a fun ride hopefully they can find a way to get the victory that's what they're wondering dallas says you still got to wait a little bit if you're going to get a victory it won't be tonight and should be a fun one as always i'm hit the play a game button let's go ahead and get this thing rolling best of luck to both of these teams here and it looks like st louis will be kicking us off sending it over to dallas we are underway we're going with the fox today so it's going to be returned here, taking a pass to 25. And I don't believe I started the what's the name. I probably should have did it earlier, but I will go ahead and put it on. I will drop it to 10 minutes for the prediction. I had it up, but I just didn't post it. So I'll give you 10 minutes to decide who y'all think is going to win it. As Franklin McKinnon picks up the tackle, going to be second and eight coming up. They said they may be last in the standings, but they're number one in my heart. I love to see it. The camaraderie doing their thing. St. Louis doing what they can to get the victory. They traded one of their top receivers as we're going to see a pass to the right side for Reginald Frome. A short gain. Third and medium coming up. But St. Louis, they've been playing with a lot of heart. It's not like they've been getting blown out every week. They've had opportunities. They just couldn't get it into the end zone enough and we'll see this new look offense for st louis come a little bit we'll see if they'll come after this play looking left side it is going to be caught but jerry riggs not close to the mark they'll mark him short and that'll be a stop on third down technically st louis is getting the football real soon Happy to get the soundboard back if you're happy for it. Say yeah in the chat. Sending this one away is Victor Crime. The bot looking for a pin to the two and barely rolls in. Rolling right on that goal line. That's all it needs to do in order to be a touchback. And St. Louis is going to start on the 20-yard line here. We got nine people in the giveaway. Shout out to everybody in the giveaway. Do that exclamation point. USFA. 10 people up in here. We could pick it up. I see 15 actually. Great job, everybody. That means I need more people in the giveaway. Jim Carr's first pass is going to be caught. And there goes Ben Blazing. Coming through with the big moves. You know what I'm saying? Second and one coming. Now, Ben Blazing will be more than likely that feature wide receiver here in St. Louis. In my opinion, a lot more effective than uh, Kevin Lee is. Just a lot more dynamic, you know what I'm saying? Looking for a man taking off to run his gym car. Is he going to launch it? 
Nope, he's going to take off and pick the first down up himself using his legs and getting the job done. A gain of six is enough. St. Louis is going to get the first first down of the game. Raven Kenobi there with the tackle. Let me know how you're feeling in the chat, how I'm sounding. Let me know how the game is looking. Looking pretty good so far on my side. They'll go ahead and pitch it, and they're going to pass out of it. Namie's going to go ahead and get sacked. Actually, they're going to call it a rushing play, but they were trying to get freaky on them. Namie couldn't find anybody downfield. Great rush there by Rocky Ivan there with the tackle for loss. They ain't calling it a sack because technically he's not a quarterback, even though he was acting as quarterback. They're going to fake the handoff here. Going to look right side and some coverage in the defense of Dallas stands tall on that play. Third and 15 coming up here. Weezy Porter checking out the fans real quick. Says, stop playing with me. I got work to do. Let me get back in the huddle real quick. As we're going to set up in the shotgun set with two backs. Going to look for a man again, taking off to run and going to get sacked. And there goes Autumn McKenzie bringing down Jim Carr, fourth and 20 here. And the defenses on both sides standing tall. Going to be a return, taking this past the 35-yard line is Sir Lancelot, hoping to bounce back. Had a couple slow games recently at the wide receiver position, but hey, Dallas, they're trying to get the job done here. Offense back on. Pistol formation almost got their defensive lineman on the other side off sides as that pass is going to be caught by Lancelot getting past the 40. Going to be a gain of six on that play. Where everybody at in the chat? Where everybody at? Let me know if you're with me. Can't be by myself. As we're going to see a pass here from Mr. Church protection solid going to take off and throw it and almost throws a pick as 420 blunt smoke couldn't hang on to it. Going to be third down. Calwood, what's happening, big homie? Faking the handoff here. Protection is breaking down, but the pass still on the mark. And there goes Rocky Butterfingers picking up a big touchdown last week. He's going to pick up a gain of 12 on this gain. And the protection was just flawless. Pass was solid. Garrett Hart solid in coverage, but hey, the pass was on point. Going to be passing it. Looking for a screen to the right side. Got some blockers up front. There goes McKenzie getting close to the 35. There's going to be second and inches coming. So, Kyle, will you put your predictions on St. Louis for this ball game? I get it. And off McKenzie getting stopped. Trying to hit that edge there, not to be. Third and one coming. Passing it, protection solid. Right side is going to be caught, and he's going to turn up so he could pick that first down up as Lancelot, a second catch of the game. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Or 20 blunt smoke. He's up there in interception so far this season. 
Can't be mad at it. DJ Church again passing, looking for a man. Going to throw straight to his halfback, McKenzie. Going to look for a push, and he's going to take it inside the 25 down to the 21. As DJ Church is lighting it up. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Got an article coming soon when this weekends. Something I spoke about in the last uh, stream that we did here on Twitch, but should be a fun little joke. Uh, as we see a spin move there by Reginald Frone, the big man got some moves here. Great job for Dallas on this drive. They're moving the ball effectively. DJ Church only one incompletion so far. Granted, it was almost interception, but hey, he's playing very well. Handoff, McKenzie, turn it up, cutting back, and he's going to get to around the five, maybe. They'll probably mark him at the five and a half yard line. Refresh us of the article. Yeah, um, it's going to be a comparison of all the play well, not all the players, but like the major heavy hitters within the USFA. I'll make it a little bit of a series, you know what I'm saying? Gonna pass it, looking for a man. Right side, and gonna throw a pick. St. Louis gonna go ahead and get tackled by big homie Sir Lancelot. Garrett Hart with the INT. And St. Louis got the football back, folks. Stretching it right side, pushing, I'm sorry, left side. And there goes Naaman McNamerson getting some of those yards back. Gonna pick up four on the play. Ethan Flowers with the tackle. Going with the reverse play or decent blocking there on that edge to give him a nice boost. Third and two coming. Passing it quickly and caught. There goes number four. 14 right there. I believe that's Deshaun Richardson. Yes, it is. His first catch is a big one. A gain of 13 here for St. Louis. What's going on, John Smith? How we living? Hope all is well with you and the family. Charlotte playing tomorrow, so watch out for that. Going to be trying to read uh, run pass option and there was already a defender in his face, Manuel Son. Looks like St. Louis trying to get a little freaky with them. He was trying to get that pass off, but luckily he didn't. Probably would have been a fumble. Going to look for a pass here. Going to throw in a run. Finds his man. Caught a juke move and getting to the 45-yard line is Paris Glass. As we're going to head and close out quarter numero uno, let's get into it. Throw your twos up. St. Louis trying to keep the drive alive. And they're going to pass out of it, looking for a man, taking off to run his car. And he's going to fumble, but luckily for the homies of St. Louis, they're able to jump back onto it. And that's going to be a stop right there. Who is that, number 21? Punch that one out right there. Great job. Sending this one away is Daniel Carlstown. It looks like he shanked it a little bit. I don't think that's going inside the 20. Probably inside the 30 somewhere. What's going on, Gina? The clean of Buckley. Checking in the giveaway. See a lot of Voyagers up in here. Y'all better get y'all teammates up in here or I might go to Huntington Beach. Who knows? Looking protection is pretty much solid, but he's going to get hit as he passes the line of scrimmage So it won't be a sack But 
a short gain nonetheless. Who's that on the tackle? That was Bradford Dexter the second doing his thing. Delayed handoff. There goes McKenzie finding a hole, pushing through a defensive player with relative ease, but it's going to set up third and short coming up. No one quite in scoring position so far in this game. Both defenses have been playing very well. Well, actually, Dallas made a good drive, but they threw a pick. That was my apologies there. As we're going to see a fake of the handoff, B Dex is not going to make it home, and the pass is not going to make it home either. That is going to be incomplete. And Dallas is going to have to punt it back to St. Louis. Had one slow, uh, not slow, but a small or short scoring game so far this week. So far, this is starting to turn out in that particular favor, but we've been around the league for a while. You know that could flip in an instant as we're going to see a bounce, but that is a long bounce there for Victor Crime. And that is going into the end zone. St. Louis is going to start at the 20. Handoff. There goes Name. He was going to get past the 25 yard line. Going to pick up five on the play. Almost got him off sides, and that to be another give. Looking for a hole, and I think he got close to the first. Might be a little short. Yes, he is. Third and inches coming up. I do like the inclusion of the run game here for St. Louis. Good things normally happen if they get the ball in Amy's hands. He's been a little slow in regards to the yardage, but don't forget he did have a minus five to start the game trying to pass it. Naomi is there, and they'll hand it for the easy first and push him through, and he's picking up another five yards or so. Slow and steady wins the race. Eight and a half minutes left in the second. St. Louis has been grinding hard all season. Not necessarily the most talented team in the league, but... They play with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, as that pass is going to be almost picked off by Mr. Cutberth. Couldn't quite hang on to it. How do I feel about Fields backing up Russ? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really get that, me personally. But where else was Fields going to go? I was willing to take a chance on him. He's been pretty injured and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and see a pass. Looking right side and caught. Going with the bot player, Body McBotterson. Making the catch out the backfield. McNamerson and McBotterson. Making it happen to the halfback duo here in St. Louis. I was hoping Fields would go to a team that would start, though. Or that would start him. I like his game, but... He just gets a little, a little too injured for me. As we're going to see a jet sweep. There goes Big Homie, Big Blazing, or Ben Blazing. I said Big Blazing like Big Ben, but his name is Ben. So it kind of works out. Big Ben Blazing. Big play Ben Blazing. Actually, not that bad. How y'all? Let me know how y'all feel about that in the chat. Big play Ben Blazing. I might put that on his uh, player when the game ends. You know what I'm saying? As we're going to see a handoff against a name. And he's going to get dismantled by number 47. He was like, eh. Nah, they ain't going to work on me, player. Third and five coming. Yep, Gina likes it. So I'm going to coin it. I'm going to put it on the profile. I mean, on this player. Big play, Ben Blazing. Now he's the sole number one receiver here. He's going to try to make some plays for sure as they're going to fake the handoff. And that was a tight end screen that didn't look like it was going to work. 
he threw it right at the feet at the tight end, and I think he was going to get chopped down by uh, T.J. Blackman, the boogeyman. But that's going to be yet another stop here from this Dallas defense. Sending this one away to the left side. This one looks a little bit better than the first punt or the last punt that we've seen. Going to be first and 10 coming up. Almost at the midway point of the second. Short drop back here for Church, and he's going to find his man Riggs. Mile high to mile high, getting to the 35. First and 10 coming up, two catches, 18 yards so far for Riggs in this game. Church spreading it around a little bit. Shotgun set. Going to pass it again. They're going with the wide receiver screen, and he's going to get taken down immediately is Sir Lancelot. Going to make a second and 10 coming. Second and 10 coming up. Passing it. Looking right side wide open. First down play. Left tank Tremonti open. Going to make the catch. Make the first. Dallas on the move again. A gain of 13. Game still looking good for you guys and gals. Let me know. So far it's been looking pretty sweet. Or at least on my side. Going to pass it again. Here comes Church left side and overthrows his man on the slant. 11 for 15 so far here for Church. Passing it left side and going to be caught. There goes Sir Lancelot fighting for three to four more yards after contact. And Dallas is on the move again. Another successful drive at the current moment. And that was a perfectly placed pass there away from the linebacker. Going to be a big drop back looking for the screen. Cuts up and trying to run through two defenders, and it's not going to work out in his favor. There's the two-star lineman making it happen. Bradford, uh, that was, I thought it was Bradford. Never mind. I thought it was 43 I've seen. But I did see Franklin McKinnon that was right there with him getting an assist to tackle. Can't be mad at that. Three minutes left in the second. Pistol, handoff, looking for a hole, finding a hole, but those are the things you got to look at when you're upgrading for sure. Could have been an even bigger play. You got to keep on upgrading. I think one of the things slowing down McKenzie is that burst. And that's something he hasn't quite yet developed. We'll see that as he continues to grow within the league, I'm sure. He's definitely a power back through and through, but. Got to get some more opportunities. It looks like Rocky Butterfingers is going to get into the end zone. Avoiding one defender. Gets tripped up as he was crossing the mark. He got in. And Dallas is going to score the first points tonight. And Gun Merabic was trying to get that one. And look at those cleats. Them cleats is clean. Y'all can't tell me those ain't clean. Rocky Butterfingers got them clean jones right there. Kick is up. Kick is good. Eight play 77 yard drive and Dallas is going to take the seven and nothing lead here in the second.
sending this one away, taking this past the 20. And there is a flag. I'm not exactly sure where it was. They said it was the middle linebacker, Edison. Going to make it first and 10 coming. Off, trying to cut through sheds off one man and gonna pick up around seven to make that second and three we're gonna hit the two-minute warning after that play Shotgun said again, quick pitch left side and rush that one over to the left side. It's going to be third and three coming. Shotgun set empty formation, quick pitch right side and caught. And he's going to take that one, shedding the man as he gets past the 30. Jamal Allen coming through with the catch here. A gain of nine is going to be first and 10 St. Louis. Quick hitter right there to the right side. Going to send a man in motion, faking the handoff two times. Protection solid. They're going to throw a shorty stays in bounds and... He's just going to stop the clock with that one. Going to be Jones there on the play. Donovan Jones. I believe that's his first catch of the season. I think that's a possibility. Oh, they said that QB is trash. Let's go. So you already know big things are going to happen when they pass the football. It's going to be at least a completion. And they prove it to be true. Passing it quick to the tight end, Paris Glass. Third and two coming up. No huddle set up. I formation. And they are going to hand it off, and he will pick the first down up. 420 Blunt Smoke says he needs that TPE real quick. Great job on that. We'll get that for you either today or tomorrow. Should be before you can up, um, upgrade and get it locked in. You know what I'm saying? But thank you for also sending a screenshot. As that pass is going to be on the run, that's not his game. And it proves to be true. That's incomplete. Second and 10 coming. Gonna pass it here, looking left side and gonna be caught as they get to midfield and they'll call their first time out there. Third and short, or third and medium, I should say. Going to pass it here, looking right side and caught. There goes Jamal Allen pushing inside the 40. He said, all my money's on Dallas, his big homie, Coach Tito. But St. Louis ain't going to give up. They said they're ready to ball out. I thought I said Jamal Allen. That's actually Deshaun Richardson again. Going to be a drop back here. Jim Carr with a huge drop back. And they got blocks up front. He's going to take off to run and just slide down to the 25. 
And I think they're just setting themselves up for success for a potential field goal attempt. Can't be mad at it. Because they're going to try to take some points into the second half. Great job not forcing the issue. Taking what the defense gives you. Pick up what you can. Kicking from the left hash is Daniel Carlstown trying to get the first points on the board for week number seven for St. Louis. And it looks pretty good. It is pretty good. And both teams will successively have scored a point, at least one, going into the second half. St. Louis still down, but they showed life on that drive. Maybe with some more time, that could have been a touchdown. But needless to say, you got to take what you got to take. Never could be mad at points. That's what I always say. Sending this one away. It is going to be returned. Taking it past the 20. Not too much further than that is Jerry Riggs. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Is Dallas going to try a Hail Mary from here? Or were they just taking into the half? Looks like they're taking into the half. They're content with a 7 to 3 lead. They'll go ahead and kneel it down, and that'll take us to the end of the second quarter. Throw your threes up. Game's still rocking. Still got the giveaway. You already know how we do. St. Louis firing them arrows. Hitting the mark. They said they ready to take the lead here as we see Gum Arabic on the return. Cutting up and getting sent back as he passes the 20. He's going to get hit around the 22, 23 yard line. He's going to be first and 10 again. Shotgun said they're going to send Richardson in motion. Look for him. Actually, that's Allen right there. They're going to throw it to him. He stays in bounds, cuts up, and he's going to pick up some solid yardage there. Second and five coming up. Faking it two times, looking for a man again. Middle of the field, sorry, the left side, and that's deflected. Not to be there. Gonna send Ben Blazing in motion, looking for a man again. Gonna get sacked. And there goes dude Lebowski. Stopping him on third. The Dallas defense holds strong here. Gina the cleaner Buckley saying that she ready. Great job there, nonetheless. Going to see a return. Here comes Sir Lancelot using that speed. Making a first and 10 again. First and 10 here. Dallas trying to make some plays here. Looking is caught. 
taking that pass to 45. And I'm looking at it here. Uh, Jaina, you already used your 100 TPE for the season. From what I'm seeing, so. Or is that season nine? Hold on. Oh, that's season nine. Okay, you're good to go then. Never mind. Yeah. I didn't see the season nine part. So you're good to go. You'll get that 100 TP. I'll do it again for my apologies. Because I'd be tripping sometimes. I had to double check because I remember seeing her name, but I had to see. You know what I'm saying? So great job there for show. And what else did you get? You got the jersey giveaway entry. So I'll go ahead and give you the Sonic ring for that. As it's third and one. Coming up here. Going to pass it. Looking for the screen. And going to get hit as he throws. And DJ Church is going to get stopped here. Dallas could keep their offense on the field if they chose to. Looks like they do have the punt. Will they break out something crazy? Nope, not this time. Sending this one away, and this looks very successful. Inside the five is where St. Louis is going to start this one out. Victor Crime. He says, St. Louis, you got to do the time. It's first and 10. St. Louis coming onto the field. Shotgun set. Two tight ends on the line. And they're going to go with the run play up the middle. And Name is going to give them some breathing room here. 10 carries, 36 yards so far for the veteran. Defensive battle here. I formation again. Handoff again. Looking for blockers. Pushing forward. Picking up a lot of yards that time around. Name it McNamerson. Yeah, name it a vet. Name it been in the league for a minute. Like, what year did he come in? I forgot what season he came in. I know he was here since season seven, but I don't remember. He said, why don't we just run every play? Season six, yeah. So you're a vet. This is like your fifth year. Looking for a man to throw to right side and caught. Paris Glass hangs on to it. It's uh, season seven. Yeah, season seven was the first Madden. Came in the same year as DJ Church. Because I remember the calamity. He didn't want to go to college, but... They're going to go ahead and challenge that, actually. I think he caught it. I don't know if he... Yeah, so... We seen a play last week that probably deserved a challenge. And then a play that, in my opinion, really didn't need a challenge. Coming through. Interesting. As Dallas is going to lose a timeout for the remainder of the game. Maybe they saw that his feet was out of bounds when he had the football. I don't know. But the referee said there wasn't enough to overturn that. And that's going to make it second and three. Stretching this right side. Going to juke and not going anywhere as the Dallas defense comes out strong. Third and four coming up. Passing it again, looking for a man. Left side and caught. Getting the first down. Another big first down by their secondary halfback, Body McBotterson. Making it happen there. Can I make our whole playbook inside zone? Unfortunately, you can't. You need the game so you can actually make it yourself. Either that or I could just make adjustments when the season comes to an end, but I can't change it for teams that actually have to use the form and such. You'll just have to adjust your playbooks as is. But it's first and 18 coming up.
Passing it again, looking for a man. Going to go to the tight end and caught. Pushing forward to get some of those yards back from the penalty. Second and 13 coming up. Gonna look, hand it off, big hole, sheds off one man, gets to the 35, is Namey. And Coach Tito says he wanted to sense the pressure. So, you gotta let me know uh, which one you wanna go to. Hand off, pushing forward. And he's going to get stopped on third down. They tried to run play. He said, I need to learn how to school again. Well, there's different, uh, like, breakdowns of that. So, I got to go over them with you. I'll let you know in the chat. Well, actually, I could look that up. Is going to go ahead and see this punt return. Taking this past the 30 yard line is big homie Lancelot. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in the third. So there are five levels of sense pressure there's ideal, average, oblivious, paranoid, or trigger happy. And you're currently at ideal. As that's going to be incomplete. You're currently at ideal. As is every other quarterback. Second and ten coming. Oh my. Oh, your spelling skills. Looking left side and caught. Looking for the first, not going to get it. Gum Arabic making a tackle in the zone coverage. Third and one coming. Yeah, all quarterbacks start at ideal, so. They said average is not bad. The other three can be up and down. Really depends on the attributes and such. As we're going to see a play, going to take off to run, and he's going to throw this one away. And the St. Louis defense holds true, getting another stop on fourth and short, uh, third and short. St. Louis's defense doing everything they can to keep their team in the game. They just need their offense to clutch up. Don't forget the giveaway as well! Exclamation point USFA! Make sure you do it just to make sure you're in it. As we're going to save this one away. Looking for a bounce, but that one isn't going to work. That's going into the end zone for a touchback. And St. Louis is coming back onto the field. Jim Carr needs to put his best foot forward soon. Dallas dropped a ball against one team that has yet to win the game, which was New York. As we're going to see a handoff, and that's going to be a snipe in the backfield. Number 56, he says, I ain't got time for it. That's Jackson. Sorry, J is that Jackson? Yeah, Jackson Storm making the play. I almost got him confused with New York's linebacker, Javad Storm. Second and 12 coming. Mr. Damien, what's happening? He's trying to win the giveaway again. Look for a pass, middle field, off the hands of Paris Glass. That's definitely a drop. And luckily enough for him, it didn't go straight up into the hands of a defensive player. But it's third and long coming up here for St. Louis. Their offense has been up and down all game long. The boogeyman at the top of the D-line there. Watch out for number 99. Looking for a man again. Takes off and throws it, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage solid there from Carson Cutberth and Jamal Allen couldn't hang on. That's going to be yet another punt force here from Dallas.
sending this one away here. Going to be returned. Taking this pass to 40. To around the 41-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Pass and nope is a handoff. There goes Dominic McKenzie with the seventh carry, only 21 yards. So he's averaging three. Single is doing a fairly solid job on the run defense. Two minutes left in the third. Got two more games coming, so make sure you watch out for that. Going to be in this off. Finding the holes, McKenzie. A juke move, but he doesn't fake out the defender well enough. Gonna set up another third and short situation. Passing it left side of caught. No one's gonna be dropped. Punched out of the hands of Jerry Riggs and it's fourth and two. Another stop here on third down here for the St. Louis team. Uh, what's going on, Damien? Hope all is well with your big homie. Sending this one away. Looking for a bounce. Not going to find it. another punt sent into the end zone. Starting at the 20 again. St. Louis with the football. Shotgun set. Jim Carr needs something cooking. Passing it again. Quick to the left side. I think that was an overthrow. And that was almost picked. Taking the handoff here. Jim Carr is going to go right side. And that's going to be picked off lurking. That's going to be Wheezy Porter. Carrying off the flat defender to hit the curl. And it looks like Dallas is trying to cash out. What a defensive play. And I don't think I've seen it quite like that before. That was pretty impressive as DJ Church is going to launch it right side. And going to be caught. There goes Rocky Butterfingers coming through with it. One minute left in the third. Going to be passing this left side and incomplete. Going to pass it again. They're going slant route and it left the man open. There goes the mouth. Ha! The mile high connection. Dallas is going to score again, and they're going to make it a two score lead. What a pass there from Church. What a catch by Riggs. And that's going to be a doink, and that's no good. So it will remain a 10 point ball game.
What's going on, Mr. Tom Riddell? Welcome back to the channel, big homie. Getting in that giveaway chance, I see you. Gonna be a return here from Gun Marabic, who's gonna get past the 22 around the 23. Singles has a hole to dig out of. Gonna look and deflect it. Not to be. 31 seconds. They're gonna send the man in motion here. They're gonna fake it two times, looking for a man. Taking off to run, throwing this right side, and that's over the head of everybody. So that's going to make it third and 10 coming up. off and a run on third down this is going to help him out that's definitely not what you want to see on a third down play you wanted to see how Dallas was doing well right now they're doing fairly deep uh, decent the uh, offense has been kind of slow but with the interception by Wheezy Porter just a minute ago Dallas was able to cash in for a touchdown they missed the extra point as we'll go ahead and segue a punt for the end of the third quarter, is going to be a short return. It's going to be a hold and penalty there. And there it goes. Let's go ahead and get into it. Going to the giveaway pretty soon. As we're going to go ahead and pause it right there. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to go ahead and hit this giveaway real quick, man. Let's go ahead and do the house cleaning first. Shout out to the big homies at Debbie. Use that code USFAS10 to get 10% off of each and every order that you choose to have with them. Great, great setup there available for you. Get that energy drink, the official energy drink of the United Sim Football Association. Uh, shout out to Paladem. If you need some software help for your business, Paladem will be the way to go. Shout out to them. Sign a contract. Get your business moving in the right direction for sure. Um, also, shout out to our three affiliates. We got the GSB Gold Standard Basketball uh, Season 3 coming soon. I believe within the next couple of days, we should be seeing our first action of Season 3. So great job by those guys. Uh, looks like we also have goals. Excuse me. Uh, great one hockey league sim. I had to burp a little bit. Was I drinking? No, nah, I'm not drinking. But shout out to the big homies there. They're keeping it real. If you want to play some hockey for the sim league format, that is the perfect place to go. And then you also have the big homies at the ECFL. A majority of the players you see here is in this game, along with uh, what's available for you within the other games in this week. They came from the ECFL, and there are collegiate affiliates. They're doing their thing. Shout out to them. And we could go ahead and get into this giveaway, man. Let's go ahead and see what this prize is real quick. You know what I'm saying? We got to see what the prize is. Got to keep it moving as always. We got to see who wins it. All the good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel real quick. And how many people we got up in here? We got 15. As it looks like. We have 15 TPE. That actually works out to be fairly flawless right there. Can't be mad at that. And the winner of that will be Rocky Butterfingers, wide receiver for the Dallas Dragons. So it looks like it's going into the favor of the Dragons. Can't be mad at it. Congratulations to you, big homie. And looking forward to many more plays from you as the season goes along. 
in your career, not just this season, but the whole career. I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. Definitely a big play type of guy and only going to get better from here. So shout out to the big homie. He's going to be taking 15 TPE along with the potential W if their team can hold on with this 10 score, 10 point lead. Got to pass it here. Looking, going left side and going to be incomplete. Third and 10 coming up. Single back formation. DJ Church looking for a first big drop back. Go screen pass. There goes McKenzie and Bradford Dexter. He was like, I'm still going to fight. I don't give a darn what happens. I'm going to put my best foot forward on this defensive front. And he'll make the tackle for a loss. Fourth and 14 coming. Sending this one away. A big boot there from Victor Crime to the 35-yard line. Trying to get a block for his homie was Gun Marabic, but that's not to be. First and 10 coming. Gonna be a shotgun set, passing it left side and caught. And there goes my boy Carr making it happen with big play Ben Blazing. Gina the Queen of Buckley said that the name clear, so we're gonna stick with it. Great job there. St. Louis has a chance. They now they gotta punch it in. Shotgun again, looking right side and a little bit of a miscommunication there. Looked like he had someone open a little bit further on the left side, but hey. Passing it again. Protections breaking down. Left side is caught. Third and inches, though. He ran backwards to get that one. Lost his forward progress. But they are in field goal range here. So, at the very least, worst comes to worst, they could try a field goal. But I'm sure they want to get that touchdown out of the way if they can. They're going to send number 85 in motion. Quick pitch to him, and he's going to catch it. There goes Donovan Jones. Getting some playing time now that he's not... Bogged down in the wide receiver group that's going to make it first and 10. Handoff. There goes Namey fighting forward, getting inside the 10. Second and one coming up. Sangle was trying to do the unthinkable. Hand off again, finding a little crease, a juke move, and falls down, but there's a flag, and that's going to back him up all the way to the 16-yard line as opposed to being on the one. That's a critical error there. Affirmation. They got to get something cooking here. They're going to try to get it in the ground game, but the defense stands tall of Dallas. Third and eight coming up. Handoff. 
Hand off the ground. Try it again. Can he pick it up? He's close and another flag. That's going to be fourth and two. They'll more than likely decline it. Yes, they will. I probably would have tried to move him back, see if they can make the field go harder at the very least, but just to get him off of the field, I kind of get it. Unless St. Louis is still in a little froggy and going for it, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Kicking this one, and it looks like they will knock it through to make it a one score ball game again. Everybody add in the chat if you with me say yeah. 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 Fourth quarter still live. Got a game still. Dallas can wrap it up with a solid drive for sure, but St. Louis' defense has been coming to play for the most part. So don't need another stop here if they have one a chance as that's gonna be returned by the touchdown man from the last drive. Jerry Riggs. His first and ten coming up. and 10 coming looking left side going to be caught there goes Lancelot 20 for 30 is DJ Church hand off no it's a fake the pressure's breaking down and he has to throw that one away Rapper Dexter who's coming strong. It's going to be third and three, a big third down here. St. Louis with the chance to potentially get their offense onto the field. Handoff, pushing forward and running through a crowd is McKenzie. Not a big rushing game all around but he made the play happen there and that's going to make it first and 10 again franklin uh mckinnon was right there but couldn't bring him down and that was all she wrote on that one it's still a chance for st louis to get off of the field dallas more than likely going towards more of a passing attack but we'll see a pass here and that'll be probably third and short no they're going to call it first and 10. Drop back here. Protection's breaking down. Looking to throw this one away. Second and 10 here, four minutes, 50 seconds left. They're going to fake the handoff. Bradford Dex is coming strong, and he's going to bring him down for the sack. Big, big play here for St. Louis. The first sack of the game is a big one. DJ Church goes down. Four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Making the handoff here, DJ Church looking to launch it short. That is going to be a stop. And 420 Blunt Smoke, number two, takes down DJ McKenzie, number five, for three and out. So 
So if you subtract five minus two, it's three. Y'all get what I'm saying? It's fourth and 14 coming up. Looking for a bounce and once again goes into the end zone for a touchback. So St. Louis probably has one, potentially two drives here to make something happen. They got to drive 80 yards into the end zone to tie it up with the extra point. First and 10 coming. Gonna fake the handoff here. Is he gonna launch it? Yes, he is. Going in and it's going to be almost caught off of the ricochet. And that was a bot player there, so I kind of expected that. And this is why you make sure you have user players on your team. Looking to pass it again. Throws a short, a short gain there for Donovan Jones. Gonna make it third and six coming up. Now, do you go for it here is the question if you can't pick it up. Drop back again. Here comes Carr. Hit as he throws, trying to fit it into that spot where Ben Blazin was, but the pressure forced that. That's going to be fourth and six. Me personally, I say punt it. See, you already have your three timeouts available. You don't want to give Dallas another chance here. Play the smart game if you're St. Louis. Sending this one away. Play the field position as. 420 blunt smokes trying to run him down and he's going to make the tackle going to drag another man number nine past the 30 but great coverage nonetheless here from the st louis sec uh not secondary the special teams Drop back here. They're going to pass it right side and going to be caught. He was. Oh, no, he that's incomplete. So that actually helps St. Louis on that play. See, he held him in the air for a little bit. A smart play there from the corner. Second and 10 coming, looking for a man left side, going to be deflected. And that was kind of choosy right there. The bot player says no to that play. As Dallas is refusing to run the football in this situation, I'm not quite sure why. Even if they get the first down. St. Louis will be in the same position as before, but Bradford Dexter's going to get a second sack, and looks like St. Louis will call the timeout. Bradford Dexter needed that. Currently, his one of his better games we've seen is a, in a seven-game career. He got to the quarterback for sure. St. Louis is getting the football back, and they'll have a two-minute warning to see if they could tie it up. Going to be a return, getting close to the 40, so honestly can't ask for too much better field position than this. St. Louis needs one touchdown to tie this ball game up, and we could potentially be going into some extra quarters, but Jim Carr has to find a way, and it's going to be a passing attack from here on out, I'm going to assume. Maybe one run. They have two timeouts, but... They're going to try to start with the pass. Looking right side and almost throws it straight to Carl, uh, Carson Cutberth. And that is not how you want to play the game right there. I 
that formation. Gonna stretch this one left side. Got a little bit of blockers and not quite getting out of bounds. He's just gonna take it to the two minute warning, but it is third and short. So that is gonna help him out for sure. And they honestly could run the football here if they wanna just pick up the first, go into no huddles. That way they could save their timeouts. Or they could go deep, see if they can pick it up. You know, there's a lot of options here. They're right around midfield. Gonna quick pitch it and gonna be deflected. There by Ethan Flowers on the other side. It's fourth and one coming up. Obviously, this isn't a punt type of situation. They have to score in this drive if they want to get a victory. Or at the very least, try to tie the ball game up. And they're going to try the ground game, and Namie is going to pick it up. So the drive shall continue. There is still life here in St. Louis. First and 10 coming. That's going to be a false start right there. Back him up five. Shotgun set here, first and 15. They got to get past the 39 to keep the drive alive. Pitch right side and caught. Gets to midfield, so gets all those yards back from the penalty. A second and 10. They have to hurry it up. And plays like that isn't going to get it done. They need to move the ball down the field. Faking the handoff, gonna go right side and gonna be an incomplete pass. And Paris Glass just could not hang on through contact. That was exactly what they was looking for. Gonna look left side. Going to be picked off. Ethan Flowers seals the game. Dallas holds on. And technically, there's still a chance, but it's gonna make it a lot more difficult here for St. Louis. A jump ball, not gonna work out. It's gonna be a handoff. McKenzie's gonna pick a first down up. And that might seal the deal right there, folks. And they're going to go ahead and kneel it down. St. Louis will call their final timeout. And that'll essentially wrap this one up as we go ahead and set up for the games coming up soon. New Jersey and Huntington Beach will start us out on Sunday. So that'll be somewhere around like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, depending on when I get some free time. We'll start that up. All ready to go. Huntington Beach trying to move to 7 0 for the second straight season. Uh, Going to be a fun ride on that one. New Jersey trying to get the W. And then we close out with the game of the week Tampa Bay at Charlotte. Tampa Bay trying to bounce back. Charlotte, they're trying to remain undefeated as well. Try to go to 7 0 on the season. So watch out for those games for sure as we go ahead and cycle back into the gameplay here. And that'll be it. all she wrote here, folks. A valiant effort there from St. Louis, but through seven games, they're going to be winless. And Dallas does hold on strong. 13 to 6 is your score. And we're going to go ahead and check out these stats real quick. Looks like total yards. Dallas did win 354 to 296, but there was a lot of turnovers there for St. Louis that kind of prevented them from getting the win. So make sure that you keep on upgrading, updating all the good stuff. As we check out the stats real quick, it's going to be DJ Church. Just give me one second. Oh, 
Okay, so we got DJ Church, uh, 22 for 36, two TDs, one interception, only 199 passing yards. A slow game, but he was effective nonetheless. And then on the other side, Jim Carr, 19 for 38, 160 yards, two interceptions. Longest pass was 30 yards by DJ Church doing his thing. Um, on the other side, uh, we got Naomi McNamerson, 21 for 81, 3.8 yards of carry. Dominic McKenzie, 11 for 44. DJ Church, 5 for negative 3. Jim Carr, 2 for 13. Uh, receiving, actually, no, I didn't even do the longest carry. Sorry about that. Um, that was Dominic McKenzie there with a 13 yarder. Um, receiving wise, we'll start with uh, St. Louis here as Paris Glass leads the way in catches with five. To, oh, sorry, five catches for 33 yards. Ben Blazing four for 50. Donovan Jones three for 11. Jamal Allen three for 19. Body McBodison two for 19. Deshaun Richardson two for 28. Doing his thing. Uh, went the wrong way. And it looks like drop wise, looks like Paris Glass had two. Ben Blazin had one. Jamal Allen had one. And the longest catch goes to Ben Blazin there for a 27 yarder. Um, on the other side, looks like the Dominic McKenzie, Jerry Riggs, and Sir Lancelot each had five catches apiece. McKenzie had 23 receiving yards. Riggs had 47 and a touchdown. Sir Lancelot with 33. Rocky Butterfingers, three for 60 and a touchdown. Reginald Frome, three for 23. And then you got uh, Tank Tremonti there, uh, one for 13, one for 13. Uh, Sir Lancelot and Jerry Riggs each had a drop, and Rocky Butterfingers had the longest catch of the day with the 30 yard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, defensively, looks like Wheezy Porter on the day had 11 tackles. Uh, John Fowler with eight. Ethan Flowers with seven. Dude LeBlau, Le, LeBlau, Lebowski with seven. Rocky Ivan with six. Manuel Sun with four. Raven Kenobi with four. Carson Cutbirth with four. Jackson Storm with three. Baron Went with three. Autumn McKenzie with three. Joey Phillips with two. TJ Blackman with two. Chester Owens with two. Billy Silly the tight end gets two. And then got two wide receivers with touchdowns. Tank Tremonti and Sir Lancelot each getting a tackle. Uh, Jackson Storm with two tackles for loss. Cut Berth and Ivan each getting one. Uh, sack wise, Baron Went gets a sack. Manuel Sun, Dude Lebowski, and Autumn McKenzie each get one. So great job there from the pass rush. Um, Weezy Porter and Ethan Flowers each get an INT. Looks like the longest one goes to Flowers right at the end of the game. And you also had four pass deflections. So a lot of great defensive plays here from the secondary. Getting a lot better. From what I definitely see, great job there. Carson Cutbirth with three. Wheezy Porter with two. Chester Owens with one. And Mayo Sun gets one. Barron went forces a fumble. And he was the one that forced the fumble on the quarterback earlier that got recovered. Um, recovered by St. Louis. So, and no other defensive stats there. On the other side, the leading tackler will be 420 Blunt Smoke with 13 tackles doing his thing. Garrett Hart with six. Trey Edison, that's a bye play. We don't worry about that. Gun Maripick with five. Bradford Dexter the second with five. Christopher Baker with four. Franklin McKinnon with four. Jesse Label with two. Orlando Wolfgang with two. Jamal Allen with one. Deshaun Richardson with one. Bobby Lee with one. And that's all the user players there. Um, Bradford Dexter the second with two tackles for loss. Uh, Leva, Blunt Smoke, and McKenna each have one apiece. Bradford Dexter the second, the only player with sacks here, making it happen with two on the game. Garrett Hart, an interception in the red zone, I believe in the first or second quarter. Someone remind me in the chat. But 420 Blunt Smoke also had two pass deflections. Um, Gun Maribic with one. No force fumbles or anything like that here. And that's all the defensive stats. Uh, two by uh, punt. Sorry, two bot kicker punters here um, going at it as Daniel Carlstown was perfect. Six points on the game off of two field goals. Victor Crime missed one of his extra points. He's only going to bring in one. Victor Crime, he did have the better punt game, uh, 53.8, almost 54 yards on the average. Daniel Carlstown doing his thing, averaging 43. Jerry Riggs, three for 74. Gum Arabic 2 for 46 on the kick returns. And they see right there, punt return wise, Sir Lancelot doing his thing, averaging almost 13. And Name Nameson only had two opportunities. He's going to average almost six. Um, going into the scoring summary, 
No scoring in the first quarter, but the second quarter, uh, Dallas started out with the Rocky Butterfingers reception touchdown for 30 yards. Then the big homies in St. Louis was able to match that with 43. Then Jerry Riggs comes through with the touchdown to make it 13 to six. Sorry, 13 to three. Um, then the fourth quarter, um, St. Louis got a field goal, but wasn't able to tie it up at the end. So we'll go ahead and wrap this one up here. Like I said before, we got two great games coming on. Make sure you watch out. It's going to be New Jersey at Huntington Beach. That'll be uh, the first game on you. Sorry, now YouTube. That'll be on Switch. Uh, so watch out for that one. So and then we're going to see the other undefeated team, Charlotte, hosting Tampa Bay with all of that talent. Last time they played, it was like 17 to 10, if I can remember. So should be a fun ride as always. But until then, stay safe, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. And we'll talk to you later. Ah.